Hello everyone, welcome back to Time of Pace Darkest Dungeon. I think I checked this in the end of the last episode. Right, we have to had to refill these guys because the farmstead completely wrecked us. That's not great. Healing received on the antiquarian. Stress skills on the musketeer, that's interesting. Less damage but more crit and accuracy on the thrall is also pretty good. Blight amount on the antiquarian. Interesting. But protection position four, healing received in position four, dodge of in position four. We retribution is not workable in position four, so it's basically defender, command, bolster, bellow. You know what? I think we, we go for this. Now this is a siren fight. I don't know how this works. So I guess we'll just have to do like whatever. Do I put her in here? Do I do I do No one who can guard, that's important. Otherwise they get turned by the siren and then guard guard her and then that's really really bad. Against the siren? I have no idea who to take. Kind of wreck, maybe. No one who can guard still. That's that's pretty bad. If, if we get someone who can guard. Maybe someone who can buff themselves? I think him, him would be pretty bad. She has a drawback on herself, so maybe this is also not a great idea. We need we need some heavy damage dealers. So maybe she's alright. Oh, maybe I want someone who can activate his repose. Where's my highwayman? Did he level up? No, where is he? Wait, what? He's gone? <laughs> Did I just put him in there, or what happened? They came back? I guess he's not ready yet. Didn't I, didn't I do this last time? To remove his compulsive? Because I think he might be pretty good. Though maybe not. Actually, reposts are bad, because if they take someone over and attack in there, We'll lose double the amount of HP. I also don't like the heavy healer. This is this is not good. No idea how to who to take. Hit the front rows. On him, he has fear of the Eldr Eldritch though, so maybe not. Hit the back rows. I kind of want the higher level, so they have higher default resistances to being taken over. I think this is just I'm I'm just throwing stuff together. I've we want to mark th these two could mark together at least a bit. She's already up there for the mark party. Wait, what disease does she have? Scurvy. Oh, I should get rid of that. She... This might not be good. Oh, she's not in there. Okay. You know what? Get rid of Scurvy. I think... They have medical treatment. Okay... This is my party. Which is probably gonna be... He, he can self-heal and those two should be fine. Unequipable trinkets, sword by rarity. You get the, uh, no, sword by class restriction. 
Damage and speed in position 4 and move resist and protection in position 1. I think I'd rather take the increased healing amount. Why is... Oh, he's slow. And he has a base speed of 0 and I guess gets to minus 1. I can put him the virtual chance on him. Because whenever he gets hit, he gets stressed, so he normally he, he's the first one to crack. These two in here. And then put some massive damage on you. Maybe like this, and... Is this? I mean, we lose a lot of our dodge for accuracy and crit. Could just take the crit and lose one speed, but get more stress healed. You have resist, you have skill chance. Guess we're getting five dodge back of the ancestor's candle, so this is actually okay. Okay, this is our plan. Let's upgrade our party still. Let's see what we can do. Better healing, yes, indeed. Yes, please. Pin down. That's a really good one, actually. But I think this is our setup we're going with. Uh, you get more damage here. Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't randomly upgrade. I just realized we don't have that much. Plunge, pick to the face. Take this. Do they have... No, they don't have pipe light resistance. So I'll get the light skill on her. Probably want to take these two. Reach. Yeah, I'll take all of these. I think this is a good setup. Set of the stun. I'll take the shadow fade on her again because we will use lunch. I have to put her back from there. Take the gore. Instead of the random target stun. Random target is the only way he can hit the back line though. Okay. Okay, I think we're all ready. Uh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I'm really, really needing some money here. Sell this. For 2,000 gold. Sell this for 4,000 gold. And then we can... And we need more money. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. I need another antiquarian run after this one. Yes, I do indeed. One. We're in the coals. I need the medical herbs and I need the... We have four shovels already, okay. Oh, come on. Really? Get rid of the satchel because I have the Crimson Core trinket set. So, the, by the way, the reason why I'm not going for the debuff, what I normally know, is this is the one one of the reworks. Like here, there, when they made the boss rework uh, mod in there, I checked one of them or a few of them, like skimming over them to see what they changed, and I know that they her. Uh, Oh, I saw that her taking over skill is not resisted by debuffs anymore. They somehow changed it. I have no idea how exactly it works, but I, I've read that while skimming over the mod. And I was like, ah, oh, this sounds interesting and makes the fight a lot harder. And for some reason I thought that was a good thing, and then that's why we're here.
There we go. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for moral station. Faithful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. It was charming then. Troublesome later. Poor village I waif. wondered what became of the unfortunate little waif. Right, so, uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. This is where we go in. E easy quirk removal at the very beginning. I like it. Slow reflexes would be something I'd like to get rid of. Nervous as well, though. So... Okay. You... Get in here. Come on, nervous. This is not the one I wanted to see. I think it was the locked in one though, so I'm I'm fine. Dodge the trap. What a hero. And then we continue onwards. Even further. Oh another trap. And this one didn't get dodged. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Twenty dodge minus speed for a billion rounds. Basically, ten rounds, that's huge. A fortune, waiting to be spent. Ooh, lucky me. Maybe I should have gotten rid of the... Oh. Two. With medical herbs, maybe I should have gotten rid of the debuff, but... I decided not to, because I... Thought, why not gamble that there's no... Fight coming up, and then we can just let the debuff run out. Now we still have way too many rounds of that. To be completely honest. Crap, there's a fight. Three rounds of the debuff still happening. I actually hit him. I just realized lunch is pretty bad because he can only use tremors from behind. So we should probably use pick to the face. And he's been stressed. But he'll all for seven, that's a huge party heal. Let's smack someone here. Give them no quarter. Destroy Max roll, I like it. Maximum amount of damage. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Get the shaman and then we're good. Don't stress her, stress him. You do want to stress the thrall, right? Get him with the poison darts in the back line. Maintain the offensive. Ah, uh, so hoping he would crack right through. Even with the seventy-five percent protection, he'd just be like, "Smack it!" Without any armor piercing, just the damage plus the. Let's go go for a marking shot first. We'll profit off this. Oh, this is armor piercing. Why did I even attack? We have an armor piercing attack. Forget every single time, and that thing is armor piercing. Just wanted to make sure that his attack is not. That is what you get for not taking an accuracy trinkets with this guy. It's actually at minus three speed. Beautiful. Actually heal yourself. That's a lot of damage. And improvement. Oof. Two crits in a in a row. And then he gets stressed. And then he hates him back. 
Ace down to 4 HP. And then we heal some stress right here. And then we heal some HP. And then he still gets an attack in. Ooh, good dodge. Bit unfortunate that he got his attack in. I was hoping he wouldn't. And there's not much we can do about that. I don't lead the lot down here, probably. We're gonna come back through here. There's the boss here, and then we'll move back, because I will clear the rest of the dungeon after this boss fight, for sure. Because otherwise we would have wasted this opportunity. Another misfortune. And I will loot this crate, though. Finding the stuff is only Crap. the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay. Let's see how this fight is going. The aquatic devil there she is. Made the poor girl in their image. She is their queen and their slave. Crap. This is pretty bad. Stunning prevented if torch below 50. Healing prevented if torch above 50. So do I put if I put torch light below I can hit now. Ha! Smacker. Yeah, Shadow Fade is a good one. And then come back to me though. Oh! Rumbling. The additional crit versus marked. That's what you want to see. Even more buffs. Oh my god, she's gonna completely wreck us. She forces the guard? Oh my god, this fight is way harder. Can she at least come back now, please? She did. Her eyes have cleared. Don't you... Oh, she resisted. Song of Desire. Special debuff resist. Maybe the debuff resist still works. Okay, I need the single target here. Now... Oh, she doesn't have the buffs anymore, though. Executed. Okay, maybe this is not as hard as it as I thought it was. Also resisted. So I guess the the resist still works. Hideous matriarch, okay. vile queen of the aquatic depths. She has no place in a sane world. This is a really good one. 50% scouting chance and less chance for a party surprise. And then max HP. This is amazing. And what do we get for the Siren? Siren's Lure. Accuracy. Oh, everything if Torchlight is below. On hit, pull 2. That's hilarious. I actually like that a lot. That's a cool mod. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Play it. I actually played like this. Okay, the fight was a lot easier than I thought, but I think we got two huge crits in there for like 30. Or 20 something and then 28 and then that was most of her HP. On the long run, so you see, she can force the person on her side to guard her and that's kind of scary. I don't have any keys. I guess I just don't have room for the keys. What else needs? You need one, you need one. Get the heirloom. And we're moving back and then we see what else we can get in here. Because I still have a lot of resources to... I'm, I'm not gonna say waste because we get value out of these resources. It's not va wasting that way.
There's a trap. I can see it. I'm not going to walk into it. There we go. 110%. Hell yes. I like that he, as I predicted, he gets stressed real hard. And I, I prepared for this. Look at this. All the virtue chants feels good. Wait a second. Am I completely stupid? Yes, I am. I just realized that this guy is always getting ferocious. He can't be virtuous. So what am I doing with those freaking trinkets? <laughs> oh no, and I was so happy about me playing the game. Like, oh, he's, he's getting stressed hard. We can get him to be virtuous. No, no, wait. You can't. You completely wasted trinket slots. Wow. Well. Turns out I'm quite stupid. Glittering gold or at least the, the additional idea was kind of stupid. Paid for in blood. Or rather the execute the, the idea was great. Getting someone who's likely to be stressed and then giving them the extra 38% virtual chance and bonuses of being virtuous. The problem is if you decide to put that on a character who can't be virtuous. It's like putting it on the flagellin and being like, yeah, this this will work and then Spoiler alert, it won't. If only Flagellant will not be virtuous, lower. and the same with the Thrall. There's a price though. Hey, surprised to see me here. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I think I was in the boss fight, I was pretty lucky with the... Oh, this is actually a bad... Stun on the thrall, and he's moved back so we can hit him with the musketeer next turn. I got really lucky with the skills she decided to use. She attacked once, got a crit, and dealt a lot of damage, and then she buffed herself, and then she got the, the guard forced upon her. I need to get him off the guard, otherwise we're screwed. Because the throw will explode. And I don't have a stun. This is bad. Next turn he's exploding. Oh, I do have a stun. Oh! Okay, we have, we have a chance. Confidence Very good. As the enemy Let's keep him off, <laughs> off the resolve check. Because he will lose a lot of damage if he gets <laughs> negative affliction. Oh, it's even worse! It's not not only that I made a completely useless trinket selection. The trinkets actually hurt him because he gets minus twenty five percent damage if afflicted. Wow, that's smart. Crap! It is trapped. I can't believe. Does he at least have his own stress relief? No. Ooh, oh. Ooh, oh. Guess we'll just have to spare an inventory. Actually, we can put the lure on her, on, on him, and then could profit off the accuracy. Actually, maybe just switch this around. This it's just a good idea. Back to the pit. Gonna do the grab. And then we have to kill him or he explodes. I like the musketeer a lot, even though with just the drawback that she can't hit the first position with her attacks. Actually, AoE seems good. Three characters who need healing. Big stun. And move him in a position where he can get sniped by the musketeer. Give me a sapphire together with my ruby. And then finally we shuffle these guys. The pack contains wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. No. 
get the torchlight low. I hope this works. He should be a lot stronger now with that. Uh, also, we're getting a lot of stress, but that's just what happens. Gonna have him use animosity. The freaking blights. Maybe get a crit heal? No, no crit heal, but it's only dealing one damage. Okay, that was pretty bad. Shuffle round doesn't matter for these guys. That's a death. Don't. I felt it deep, deep down inside that this is gonna be Crimson Curse. It just... I don't know. Felt so... Like... I'm, I'm being greedy with the pitch black. I'm not even playing in pitch black. With the dark. We're just gonna get wrecked. And deservedly so. For being greedy. At least he, he really gets him now. Decimated. Get some annihilation and some decimation in here. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Firewood for a tiny feast. Get rid of the torches. Fuck it. It's trapped again. That is good. This gives us some food. Maybe we can... It does not give us food? I feel scammed? Scammed? Only the food and then we could rest? Oh no. I might have to get rid of the campfire. Pitch black. Much worse than mere trickery and boogeyman. Oh my god. Please give me no don't don't have an empty sack. I want Oh. And that's a stress check. Oh it's not what <laughs> the eight <laughs> Precision and power. Okay. Player crits increase. This is how we doing it. This this is we we're just gonna we're just gonna sweep them with the crits. See, like this? No, 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 not like this. But, but, like, like this. Okay, that's that's also not a crit, but it's still enough damage. Through the twenty percent protection. Oh, didn't get the crimson curse. Then we go for some stress heal here. I mean, the the thrall is a lost cause. We'll have to put him into a stress recovery facility. And that's that. Okay, firewood is not gonna work. Might as well get rid of this for blood. 400 gold instead of this. Keep the shovel. That feels really strange, but we don't have enough food for the firewood to work out. We got him surprised, yeah? We, we got there. Hero surprise this highway. That, that's a lucky surprise then. Get away with your stress damage dealing. Ah oh yes, 31. 31% crit was that. And that is the stress check. And then even with all the additional virtual chance, he's ferocious. Oh, how did that happen? How unlucky. Animosity will be great. Kills him because he has one bleed. Kills him because he's on one HP. A devastating blow. Just, just sweeps the board. Such a 
I think we might actually want to heal him now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to use a self heal. Oh, Ferocious is gonna hurt. Go, party heal, go! Less damage and accuracy until camp. Oh, and we get this final scout. It's a fight. And How desperate am I? We're gonna do it. Screw the stress of our heroes. We're just... Yeah, heal him. Yes, crit him. Get him done. Get him out of here. Oh, ho, ho. And then the thrall will crit as well. No, but he. No, this is not a kill. I need one more damage. Nah, now I don't need any more damage. So this is a turn where everyone does utility stuff. For example, a part heal that crit heals himself for 14. And then a move back. No, I, I should have done a move forward. Okay, guess get the kill. She move forward was more important momentum. because she could have Push on to the stress healed and he still could have healed, right? Yeah, the healers everywhere. No, it's not healing as much. Now it reduces stress. Uh, yeah, I think we just ditch the gold. There's a crate here. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Yeah, uh, yeah, I need the gold. And then we'll move back and into the secret room, and there's never gonna be a hangar tile because that would be inconceivable, is what it is. The hangar tile right here. So this is either... I will leave a mark, my mark and I sell the path crest. Okay. Gnawing hunger sets in, turning the body against itself, weakening the mind. Right, without a key it's actually really bad going here. I forgot. I thought we'd get less items, but right, the secret room is really bad without the key. It's just a normal chest. <sighs> 10,000 gold and some heirlooms and the guardian's shield and also we beat the boss but also we'll have to pay quite a bit for stress recovery on these three grave robber is okay she's fine syphilis yep we gotta get rid of that two on guards and a clutch hitter okay so first we put her into windows and doors will be bolted tonight Something haunts the dark. Something ain't right with them shadows, moving and twisting as they do. Residents are advised to stay indoors until daybreak. Look at the alignment with the night sky. Uh, medical. No, you need to get rid of syphilis immediately. And then we put you somewhere. I guess this might be the best one. And then we put you. Unquiet mind might not will not meditate. I guess you can go here then. No. So tr prayer or gambling? Okay, go for prayer maybe. And she's fine. And that is it I think. Get another boss. We don't have another district though, so and none of these, whatever these are. In the mill. Ah. These are memories, they can be found in the Endless Harvest quest. Reading the text explains it. Okay. Um, yeah, but this is it for today. Another boss down. We're getting closer to veteran missions. And we still have so many characters who are not veteran level. 
Like so many characters who are not veteran level. Like look at these. These are twos. These are ones. And I would like at least all the ones up there and then a few zeros as well. But we will see how we how we manage to do that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, consider leaving a like or maybe commenting. Uh thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode.